Welcome at the E3 paint job. Today I have no bike, but I like to do another cool thing. I like to do some live casting or custom casting because there's one little thing which really annoys me at my paint job. So come with me and I like to show you the problem and what annoys me and how I like to solve this. That's the annoying part of my paint job, my airbrush hose. I use that for airbrushing and when I don't need the hose and when I don't do airbrushing, I put it on my pressure gauge to store it and I have to put it on and put it off 20 times a day. Sometimes I move the pressure gauge if I don't want to. So that can't be a solution. It looks messy too. And I like to solve this. And maybe you ask yourself, why don't you put a hook in the wall and hook the hose on or use a hose bracket? And that's it, because the hose bracket don't look cool. And I found a cool video. April Wilkerson had the same problem, not with a hose, but with her ear protection. And what she did is very cool. She did a live cast of her hand and used the hand as a hook for her ear protection. And I like to do a custom hose bracket out of my hand and put it on the wall. So let's do that in this video. I like to show you all the stuff you need and how to do that. And if you need such a hook as well, for your airbrush hose, for your ear protection, or for your key rings, or whatever, stay tuned. And let's build a custom hose bracket or a custom hook, a wall hook, which is really cool. So let's do it. A while ago, I tried to cast my hand with epoxy, but it was not so successful. The epoxy cracked and one finger broke. And now I like to do the same as plaster like April Wilkerson did in her video. And I'll link you all the stuff in my video description. If you're from outside Europe, the stuff can differ a little bit, but I'll link the stuff April Wilkerson used in her video, so it should work as well. And for all the Europeans, you can find the stuff I use underneath my video and you can do the same I do. What you need is the plaster, also some alginate. I use a fast alginate. You have a delay of maximum four minutes, so I have to be fast. I need a little bucket for my hand and what I will also use is some wood stain because I like to create a blue hand. You can see it here, that should be blue, but the epoxy turned it into green and hopefully today I can produce a blue hand because I like blue and it fits my air houses as well. So let's start. What we also need is some water and for the alginate you need distilled water, so buy yourself distilled water and that makes sure that the alginate reacts as it should be. So first thing is to mix the alginate to cast my hand in the bucket and then I can fill my cast with the plaster. Let's start. I rearranged my table a bit because I have to make sure that I can hold my hand exactly four minutes in the same position. So it has to be a very good position. And to do so I use an old bar stool and I place the bucket on top. That's the perfect height for me. So I can put my hand into the bucket. I can hold it for four minutes without any movement. Keep in mind you can't move when you do the cast. So make sure you have a good position before you start the mix and before you start the casting. And my mixing ratio is three and a half kilogram of the distilled water and one and a half kilogram of the alginate. That fits in this bucket. If you have another bucket, you have to find out what's your mixing ratio. Make sure you can stir it. And what I will do, I will stir the alginate into the water. The water has to be 12 degrees Celsius. I don't know what's in Fahrenheit, so you have to Google. 12 degrees Celsius, cold water, that's perfect for this fast alginate. So let's do it. I can't talk when I do the mix because I have to be fast. I will put my hand into the bucket for four minutes and wish me luck that I can do a good cast. Let's start. Yeah, what should I say? I have no mold. The first try was a nightmare and I messed up. It was too hot in the paint job and the alginate reacted too fast. It was too much material for such a big bucket and I couldn't mix it well. And yeah, my mold doesn't look good and I have to try it again. So what I did was I bought another alginate which reacts much slower. This one is a 10 minute alginate. The first one was a four minute one. So hopefully I have more delay for the mix. And I bought of course also a mixer which helps me mixing the water and the alginate. So wish me luck and rock on, second try. How did I get here again? I was just here maybe two hours ago. How did I get here again? 
My nine to five hours of draining all my energy How did I get here again? My melodramatic nature's gonna do me in How did I get here again? Now Yeah, and that's the mode. The only problem I had or some air bubbles, hundreds of little air bubbles also in the mold. And when I use the plaster, I will have these air bubbles also in my mold. But I will try it and maybe I have to sand the hand after I've done the mold. But yeah, that was the third try and I had every time these air bubbles, so I don't know what the problem is. But yeah, I did a first mold with the mixer. This one is without the mixer. I mix it by hand so you can see all these little traps here. And yeah, I will try it and let's see how the hand looks after I've done the mold. To do the mold of my hand, I have to mix the plaster with water and I pre-measured all my components. And in my case, the mixing ratio is four parts of the plaster. I measured it with a scale and one part of water. I will add also some blue wood stain because I like to create a blue hand. So these two components have to be one part and the plaster have to be four parts. And I recommend to read the instructions of your plaster if you use different one to mine. In my case, that's the mixing ratio, four parts of the plaster, one part of the liquid. And here, yeah, let's do the mix and let's do the mold. When you called, I came running, leaving everything behind Kissing you at the doorstep for a very first time You just laughed from what I recall, telling me that it's okay I missed your mouth and I remember walking awkwardly away Twelve hours later and it's the moment of truth. These casts look like big chunks of cheese with all these little air bubbles. And I'm very excited how my hand looks. Maybe it looks like an inverted piece of cheese <laughs> with a blue color. So let's find it out. Or maybe I messed up again. And I have to destroy the cast. I can use it only one time. And yeah. Let's find out if I have a complete hand. Woo! Not so bad. Oh, there's a piece missing, but check this. The front doesn't look bad. The truth is, it's not so easy as it looks like. It took me several tries and I messed up the first one. So my recommendation for you is buy enough material for several tries. And what I'm actually doing is I'm sealing the surface because the surface soaks the color. And to seal it, I use some acrylic sealer. I will link you also some in the description so you can do it yourself. And check this. That's my second and third try. And I'm really happy and pleased with these two ones, these two blue hands. And I'm not really sure which one I like most and which one I will use. And as you have seen, I welded two screws so the screw can't twist inside the hand so you can't break it loose. You can use also such a screw hook if you don't have a welder. In this hand is a screw hook and in this hand you have seen that I placed the welded screw. So I recommend to buy also some screw hooks to mount the hand. And yeah, now I'm doing the sealing and when the sealer is dry, I have to drill a hole and I have to mount my hand hose clamp. And the only thing left to do is drilling a hole into the wall for my hand's hose clamp. Mistake. Today we laugh, but on the inside of 
And here it is my hand hose clamp. I wish you good luck casting your own hand. Thanks for watching. If you don't have subscribed yet, do it if you like custom painting and if you like my projects. Thanks for watching and see you in one of my next videos. And don't forget, rock on. It's time machine.